ready? We are here with Between Two Yetis with John Jarvie from Overseas Yacht Insurance. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great, Zach. It's good to see you. Good. We are actually at the Yachts Miami 2017. It is day four. Um, it's actually coming to a close. We're nearly at six o'clock. But uh, how was it today, John? Fun? It was a good show. We spent a little bit of time down here today. We went to check out uh, Watson Island and Virginia Key today. Um, it seemed to be a little bit slower today down here for the brokers, but uh, it was very, very busy at the other shows. And just tell everyone what you do. You're uh, yacht insurance, hull insurance, right? Hull and liability insurance for yachts, overseas which, yacht insurance. Which is obviously very important. It's very important. Um, it's not mandatory, but it's highly recommended. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're based out of San Diego. We have an office in Kona, Hawaii, and another office at the Bahia Mar in Fort Lauderdale. Excellent. And your boats that you typically insure are, what, what's your niche market? Is there a certain square uh, linear foot, or is it a type of boat that you go for? Or? The markets for us that we typically target are the 80 to 130 foot uh, yachts, with obviously going up to 300 feet, but all the way down to 25 feet as those are usually tenders to our big vessels as well. Is, is there a correlation between how much effort, well not how much effort, but how much work goes into an 80 foot versus a 130 foot or is it the smaller you are the more you work or? You mean for the insurance? In general, I mean. Well funny enough it takes the same amount of paperwork, the same application, the same time frame for the most part to insure any size boat. Okay. Obviously there's some uh, additional information and detail that goes into the larger stuff as you have more crew, more maintenance, more management. But in terms of paperwork, it's about the same. What do you think of the industry at the moment? Are you seeing year on year there's an increase since the depression 2008? Are we getting more healthy and more boats being sold? And are bigger boats being sold? Or is, is it pretty much across the board? Actually, I think the statistics, the Boat International uh, statistics were that uh, Starting in 2011 is when it really started to, to take back off and, and get a lot more successful. I think there were somewhere around 280 yachts over 80 feet sold in 2011. 2012 it jumped up to the 300s. I think 2013 through 16 it was closer to 400 uh, in terms of volume. Holy, that's a lot of boats. Yeah, and what, what's also shifting is while the number of yachts over 80 feet um, are roughly 400 per year, the size, the amount of them that are closer to four, five, six hundred feet is significantly increasing every year. So it's a good, in, good sign for the industry. Yeah, very much so. Well, yeah. for the large yacht industry, for sure. Absolutely. And That's being at Virginia Key today, um, it was basically all center consoles there between half a million and a couple million dollars and um, that's the smaller boat side of the industry but yeah. obviously very expensive vessels and those seem to be selling like crazy as well. Interesting, so Virginia Key was pretty busy, yeah? Very. Interesting, what, and we were just talking earlier with the, speak to everyone actually about show management, how much of a good job they've done. You've obviously walked the entire show, Watson Island Stadium, how do you feel the show's been set up? Has it been pretty positive reviews you're getting? I think it's been pretty positive. I think unfortunately it can be difficult for a consumer Who's, who doesn't know the difference, yeah. who doesn't know which show is the right show that they need to be at. Absolutely. And I know a lot of the yacht brokers have, have had confusion with their owners because they're, they're at the wrong show. Right. And they don't want to take the time to come here or to go there. And um, But I think there needs to be some cooperation between show management and NMMA yeah. to, to potentially even do something like at, what you get at Disney World, where you can visit all the parks in one day yeah. for a single price. It's easy to get between them, um, but I think at the moment NMMA is experiencing so much growth now that they're out of the convention center that um, they're appreciating having the upper hand at the moment. That makes sense. So they're not willing to give anything, right? That's how it would appear. I haven't heard this from anybody that knows it for sure. That's just my opinion. Well, as a man who's come well armed with his numbers, I'm going to take you at your word for that. Okay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is uh, between two between two yetis. John, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, bud. Thanks.